Hi guys and welcome uh, to yet another Dowcast. Uh, today it will be a really short one. I've played with uh, Roslyn in uh, some of my experiments and I got uh, asked quite a few times uh, how to set it up in Unity or how I got to it set up in Unity. Even though there are some videos on YouTube talking about Roslyn and how it works inside Unity, none of them shows how to actually set it up from scratch. So even though it's not that hard, I kind of get why some people may have a problem with it because Roslyn uh, is basically set up through NuGet and uh, Unity doesn't so support NuGet uh, directly. So uh, let me show you. Uh, let's start. So for for those of that, that don't know what a Roslyn is, a Roslyn is basically a .NET compiler, so you can use it inside your inside your projects and basically write uh, a C sharp code and then compile it at runtime and make uh, let people create scripts for your game or, or create various uh, like uh, modules for your game without uh, adding code yourself so as i said uh, roslyn needs to be set up through nuget uh, these are basically ways to install a nuget package NuGet is just the format uh, from Microsoft how to set up package, how to deliver it, and stuff like that. It's all the all the tools around around Microsoft uh, libraries. So these are the ways you can either install Visual Studio or you can just install NuGet uh, console and download it from there. I will be using uh, Rider, which is a code editor. Uh, that I use. So what you need to do is basically go to. It doesn't really matter where you install the uh, the library. So I can just like show NuGet packages. It's already here. I go. I find Roslyn. You can do that as I said using another another tool. Just download it, and uh, you will need uh, quite a few of them. Uh, just uh, download the Microsoft uh, Code Analysis C Sharp, and then go to your uh, to your project, and it will be inside uh, the packages. Or go check the directory where it actually installs from your your tool that you chose, like Visual Studio or anything, and just go inside the the package, like the C Sharp one the .NET standard and get the, the DLL file and then go and uh, copy it into your project. So as you see all these are actually uh, DLLs copied uh, outside from all the NuGet packages you would need to actually run uh, the Roslyn compiler. Uh, so just check these. Most of these are the names are the same as the the name of the NuGet package and the name of the library. So just check them. If you just download one of them, like the, the main one that you need, it will tell you inside Unity that it needs, there is a dependency. So it will tell you like, okay, I cannot compile, uh, I can use this DLL because the system memory is uh, missing. So just go get the NuGet package for system memory and, and go like that. Uh, and if you have everything um, inside Unity, there will be no more uh, compiler errors. And then you can basically go to to the Unity and use the I uh, use the imported uh, libraries and Roslyn in our time uh, in our case. So just a quick code, just to show it uh, that it actually works. Uh, I have a simple component. I'm using in-game debug console for runtime debugging. You don't really need that. It's a free on asset store, so you can use it as well. And I have a game object, as I said, with a Rosling controller, which is a test mono behavior. Uh, with a simple double output and a string a code that will be the compiled C sharp code. And then in update, 
I'm executing in update mode just to check it out inside the editor as well. You can just do this. I need to get the result, so get a waiter and uh, get the result. Uh, because it's an async call, so basically this will force force it to to get the result. Uh, it will not get the result uh, directly. And I'm just uh, wrapping it inside a track, try and catch code just to, to get the exceptions. Because, for example, if you are editing the code inside Unity, it will basically, most of the time, you will have uh, invalidate, invalid code in the middle of editing. So you need to just check, just to wrap it up. So now, as you can see, if I run it, okay, this, like this. I already did some some stuff with it. Uh, it will give you the output. It's a very simple uh, code, obviously. You can use it for anything. But as I said, it's a full .NET compiler, so you can actually actually run any code yeah, inside it. This is just to show it off. And uh, I want to show one more thing, and that's how to utilize the Unity assembly inside. Because if, if for example, I wanted the random, I already had there, like, uh, you know, the random function from Unity, which is like this, it will not, uh, not work. It will basically just output the, the 56. Why? Because it doesn't know about the random uh, uh, class which is inside Unity Engine namespace and it's inside the Unity Engine assembly. So to get it working, we need to do two things. We need to set up the script options. So we will start from a default options because just to, to like extend them and then say with imports Unity Engine. This will basically set up the, the namespace, so it will inject using Unity Engine inside the compiled code. But still, this will not work because uh, it's not inside the, the assembly the, uh, the Roslyn is working with, so we, we need to inject the, the reference to the assembly, to, to the Unity assembly as well. So we will do add references Unity Engine uh oh we need the type of we need to get the assembly so you need the engine uh, for example we need any class component doesn't matter and then get the assembly so we get a type in any type inside unity engine and we, we get the reference to the assembly of the type so this will just basically add reference as well the imports into inside the executed or the compiled script so now if we run this, as you can see, every time we edit it, it will execute and it always gives a different, different number. And you can do, I'm just playing with numbers, uh, but you can do anything. You can do, like move objects as well. Basically you are not limited to anything. Is you are limited to the <laughs> to the stuff that you make transparent to the Rosalind compiler, as I said. So if you make the Unity engine as a whole, you can do anything at inside that namespace, obviously. So inside the assembly, so it can be really dangerous if you like make this usable inside your like compiled code and just publish it somewhere. There is a limitation though. Because you cannot uh, load when using uh, Il2 CPP or any AOT platform, uh, you basically cannot load additional assemblies because they need to be compiled ahead of time, obviously. So it will not work. It will if you are using Il2 CPP inside uh, the build. If you are building with Il2 CPP, it will not even go through through the compilation. Be because it will crash at the common intimated language like pass because basically you are trying to do something that it doesn't doesn't like it it can be done with some hacky stuff and uh, like doing your 
maybe your own interpreter there but I wouldn't do it anyway it's it's kind of a hack to get it working it's not safe to get it working so I would use this for uh, for tools to extend uh, the tools that we use in the with unity and maybe with like something like level editor and stuff like that I wouldn't put the Roslin inside the inside the game for example just so the guys can uh, modify it if I wanted to do something like that I would probably use uh, Lua or or maybe a simple evaluator which could evaluate uh, functions and then create an interface into it so you would have a set of functions that could get calls through reflection for example uh, something where I, I did with Dash or Machina, where I'm using a simple evaluator and I can call any function that I basically defined, I can call. It doesn't uh, work on the, as a compiler directly. So I hope uh, this was helpful. And if there are any questions, feel free to ask and uh, happy experimenting.